Okay, but there is very few Shia LaBeoufs who are like, I'll burn down my whole career for this next art film that's going to pay me $18. Like, yeah. there's not very many of those anymore. Artist. Yeah, go ahead and pop that up full screen. Artists. <laughs> <laughs> and did you he do off this book. yeah yeah you yeah yeah yeah. Come off so yeah 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 the thing on his stomach what's the what's the name on the stomach i was see if i can find another one um, is this for a movie creeper yeah yeah creeper yeah 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 so it says creeper on there and it was for this undercover uh he was doing a gang movie and uh yeah dude it's it's real you got it and he really got it he got it god i love that motherfucker so do i and he's rad but I mean, he's problematic, I think. There is, there is very few people. Dogs. Yeah, 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 he's yeah. murdered dogs? He oh, actually, he murdered dogs for, to get ready for a role. To get, he was, yeah. He's, on a, he's in a lawsuit for it right now with that girl. Because she sued him for being abusive and giving her herpes and everything else. And she goes, also, he killed all these dogs <laughs> to get ready for a movie role. I personally love that. And I don't have a problem with it. He's no. like, I didn't know he killed the dogs. No. Whatever it took him to be that good in the movie, kill some more. He's also admitted to like all of it. He did all of it. He admitted to all of it. He goes, yes, I did it, and I'm not the best person. And I'm sure his lawyers and his publicists called after that were like, stop saying that, dude. Honestly, no, that's the best defense is, look, I'm not the best guy. And then people will just be like, Did you ever think I I was? Do you know what I mean? Like, did you ever think I was fucking great? Right. It's the same with why no one cares about Floyd Mayweather fighting in Saudi Arabia versus Phil Mickelson playing golf for Saudi Arabia, right? Like, because no one expects anything out of Floyd Mayweather. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And and so. That's what I like to do is keep my expectations low. Therefore, you're like, yeah, Jesse would never. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. and, and so they I, don't expect much. With Shia LaBeouf, because, and it was so quick. It was like fucking 48 hours after the lawsuit dropped, he came out and said that. For me personally, I instantly was like, well, shit. I, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to have a problem seeing a Shia LaBeouf movie again. I mean, he came out and said – yeah, man, I did some fucked up shit, and I was a terrible human being, and I apologize. Like, uh, what more do you want from me? And I was just like, well. But he should have said, do you expect Anything your less? amazing <laughs> artist? No, but do you expect your amazing artist that can really fuck? I mean, Jared Leto could never. He could never. So Jared Leto is fine filling up condoms. Shia LaBeouf is and sending, an like, amazing actor. And sending them to his castmates and doing fucking shit like that. But it's like, you put a gun in both of their hands and say, hey, Jared, I want you to get ready for this role and really into it. Great, what do I have to do? I want you to murder like 18 dogs in front of me right now. He would go on a hike. Shia LaBeouf, you couldn't even get out the word dogs and he would have iced all those fucking things. They would have been dead. Leto would be shaking. Well, I don't know if I can do this. That's the difference, dude, right there. I mean. It's the difference. Yeah. But even acting. Brando put some butter. Acting wise. like he Give is Brando just- a stick of butter. Let's go. You think Jared Leto would do that? No. He wouldn't do it. Even the Franco shit was a little pretendish, you know, where it was like Shia LaBeouf, you're you're getting a tattoo of creeper across your whole fucking abdomen for life and killing dogs. What is this movie? I have and, to see. Yeah, not only that, but like, dude, let's say you have kids, right? You go to a pool party, and then it's just like, all right, shirts off, Dad. We're going in the pool with your kids, and then creeper pulls up, you know, you're just like, no, Jesus but he's Christ. he's he's uh <laughs> he's got his life locked down. You know what I mean? Like, and I've, I've always said that, like, if you decide, like, I'm not having kids, I'm not ever going back to an office job. I'm not going to do this. Yeah, like, yeah. you're really opening yourself up to oh, like, all kinds of shit. I remember when Rocco uh, was on the show a few weeks ago, promoting uh, the Mayans, uh, the season of the Mayans that was coming out or whatever. Right. And, uh, and I was asking him about the difficulty of getting roles. And he was like, man, I want to be taken more seriously, whatever. But he's like, uh, you know, I need budgets that will cover up my tattoos and all that other shit. And it was like, Hey dude, mm. you got the neck tattoo of, of the hands, you know, the praying hands like on your neck and then the rest of your neck tattooed at some point during that same with post Malone, you have to sit there and be like, you know, when you do neck and face, there isn't another career path after that really. Yeah. Yeah. So they've got it figured out. Cause Delco, you know, Delco wants to get a fucking huge neck tat. He mm-hmm. should. Yeah. Do you think he's going to be driving Softcore's a school bus? got to be doing, doing a million downloads for that. Um, to do. Make it happen. <laughs> One White Iverson. That's all you need. Download no. softcore history. Uh, and help Del- Delco get a neck tat so he never has to go back to anything else. Yeah, yeah. But Delco, is, he's a master pivoter, right? So, like, 
One thing doesn't work out. Yeah, but you he's get gonna the, find some hustle. F- you get thing. the you get the praying hands on the side of your neck, or you get the baby who died in his past. Whoever that what like whatever you get. Let's face it. Somebody got drowned in his neighborhood. That was a friend of his or something as a baby, and he still remembers it. Whatever fucked up shit happened in Delco. Is that what you're getting? No, it's probably going to be like a huge hoagie sub or something from Wawa. I don't know what it's going to be. I don't ride for Wawa that hard. <laughs> What's, you a pub sub what's, guy? Yeah, what's your jam? You a pub sub bro? guy, dude? I do prefer pub sub over Wawa, yeah. Okay. Uh, but that's that's what's going to happen. So when you get a neck tattoo or hand tattoos or things like that, there's always going to be those looks. You better, it's exactly like you said, you better be goddamn sure of yeah. what you're doing in this life Yeah, because there's no going back after That's that. why I'm getting my tattoos like very late yes. in life. Yes, when it's over. Like I'm going to yeah. be like an older lady that's like, look, you know. Mm-hmm. I'll get – if it, at the very least, I'll get a bunch with the divorce or whatever it is, right? <laughs> Where you're like, okay, I'm never going to have to, like, be a bank teller, right? <laughs> so, oh, my ear, ear piece just fell out. But, yeah, so then I'm going to get, like, the crazy shit. Yeah. What's the crazy shit you're getting? I'm going to get, like, a flower, like, a vine flower that goes, like, all the way from the back up and then like grows into like my eye oh god no i'm joking but (laughs) something i'll get something i have no tattoos it's it's called believing in yourself okay it is well it's called no plan b and like that's exactly (laughs) like that's your plan a (laughs) that's your plan a and you are there is no plan b you are that guy right i think you probably said that to somebody have to right had to have i'm that dude if somebody was like oh man i think i'm gonna whatever you were like nope yeah 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 Nope. If you have a plan B, plan A is never going to work out or whatever. Oh, I mean, when I went to fucking film school, all my fraternity brothers are like, you're never going to get a job. Oh, really? Yeah. 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 But he did because he had no other options. Well, and you're probably making more than them right now. One one would imagine. But like you take Post Malone in his case, like he's doing press for the new album. And we'll we'll talk about him on Drinking Bros later. But um, uh, he, you know, he's got all the face tattoos. Well, he grew a huge beard. So he looks like the friendly guy again. And it's like. Oh, oh, now that works. Shave that yeah. off, yeah. And when you shave that off, then you know there's 80 face tattoos, and you're like, all right, cool. But um, yeah, he's got the friendly beard. And he looks like the friendly guy, and and he's you know doing he's the dad. thing, and yeah, and he's got a beard. But now you shave that off, and you go to the the dad parties. Um, that the new album did not do well, so like you know you might be going to those parties very soon uh, in the neighborhood, and and then you're gonna have no, to beard up. Won't. You're gonna have to no, beard it won't. up. What's the neck tattoo, Delco? Do you know what you're getting? Do I know what I'm getting? Like, yeah, what are you what, getting? What are, what's the – you can just go vibe. Like, what's the vibe of it? Yeah. We're going to feel it out. It's going to be kind of like a spur oh, okay. of the moment thing. Yeah. Do you think maybe a boat? Oh, God. Because you have the lighthouse, maybe mm. some kind of like – Yeah, the boat is is lost. Nautical? <laughs> are you keeping it – Nautical, yeah. In a are nautical you keeping it nautical? Theme, yeah. Good for you. Yeah. The whole body's going to be steampunk. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, just gears, <laughs> no, robot no, gears no, inside no, no, where no. it's like the the That's heart, tri- the steampunk heart. No, I'm triggered. That you're gonna get with uh-uh, that? Uh-uh. 